So I use a mini excavator to dig out four posts so we can, or platforms, holes, so we can set foundation pieces in and we'll put sono tubes on top of that over the rebar, fill those with cement, and then we'll pour a slab on here and then have a roof coming off with four posts. It seems to have worked out well. The boys cut the rebar and bent it while I built those forms. And then on this side, I'm just going to leave it gravel underneath, but I'll have three posts, platforms, and then sono tubes on top. <coughs> and, uh, and then I'll have a sloped roof coming off so we can put firewood and park the side by side under there. And just as luck would have it, the power, I wanted to go around that way, but they came through here and they went right in between. I mean, they marked it right around there and then straight out to the corner. But I mean, it just worked out that I could run these in a line. So. The trick is, what do I backfill with? Because that's just full of boulders and crap. That's what all the ground around here is like. Anyway, busy day. Took uh, 28 bags of 60 pound cement to do all those bases. So, mix it in a wheelbarrow by hand with the boys. Okay, so we're starting to bury the footers. I ordered a bunch of road base. And for these three, since it'll be gravel around them and no cement slab, I'm putting some road base around the, the, the base of it and then backfilling it with all the rocky junk filled dirt <clears throat> and then putting a little bit of road base on top. It'll settle a little bit over time that way. Um, but I don't care because this is all gravel around here and the the six by six posts will come up and then the, we'll have a header and then the sloped roof up and just be able to put things underneath. But most of that road base <coughs> will be for these because there will be a cement slab on top. I'm going to pack it in there tightly and compacted as I go up so that my hope is I won't have any settling issues and then I'll have to take all this junk fill dirt and haul it off so kind of a pain but <clears throat> I think that'll give me a solid base there so and then we'll come back through today and I've got 24 bags of 60 pound cement and we will start mixing those by hand and pouring them into the sono tube. So I've got those sono tubes leveled using the string line and uh, centered for the most part. Got a little shift there, but I don't care about that. And then I've got 12 inch posts that slide down with a six by six bracket that'll sit above the cement um, and we'll put those on a little nervous about that rebar being in the way of those posts but we'll see how that goes um and that looks good so <clears throat> that should give me a really solid base it shouldn't settle and it shouldn't have any frost heaves. I think they're deep enough for our frost line. So, fingers crossed. <clears throat> so, I've never done it this way before. I've used the bell, uh, the feet. Um, that's what I use on these. Uh, these. <clears throat> and if I had to do it over again, I'd just do the bell feet because I could easily level it out set it down there fill in around it 
instead of doing the multi-step process of pouring the slab base and then going up. I just had somebody tell me this this is a stronger foundation than those bell feet, but uh, I don't see any difference. So. Okay, we're making progress. We've been filling these two-thirds of the way with road base and tamping it as we go. And then we're going to put this fill dirt on and tamp that. And then road base on that. I don't know if that's a good idea or not. But these three are in. Got the six by six brackets in place just off the cement. So it looks good. Coming along nicely. We'll get these packed and poured today and then form up this cement pad to be poured. Okay, everything's set. So I, ha I couldn't decide how I want to do this. So I think what I'm going to do, come back in here out of the, out of the wind. <clears throat> I think what I'm going to do is, <clears throat> I have these sticking up higher than the pad I'll pour. And I think I'm going to pour the pad up to them. But I might actually have it encircle them, which will look kind of goofy, but it's back here behind the shop and I don't care. And I couldn't decide what I wanted to do. I was going to build big forms and only form them up to the bottom of the pad and then pour the pad on top of everything, but that's probably what the cleanest look and then put these these guys <clears throat> into the the pad and pour the the foundation all at the same time, but anyway, this is how I'm doing it. So simple project behind the shop where no one will really see it. So so we just need to let it dry and we're set. But otherwise, it's been a good day of work. One day of work, got all those in. All right, <clears throat> so we uh, got a load of road base, rented a skid steer and hauled everything out of here, all the extra <clears throat> piles, laid new road base, compacted it, rented a compactor and now we're ready to start forming the cement pad back here around these. We built this up higher and got everything mostly leveled out and these set in place. It'll be nice have covering on both sides of the shop to extend its use usefulness. One thing I <clears throat> did notice is I had these dead on the string line and I had them all leveled and then I'd never done the single post ones but you can see that it's tipped slightly to the left so it just kind of slowly settled there to the left and I had gone in the house and didn't notice that this one settled back and to the right slightly this one settled significantly back and to the left. Um, I mean, they're still within a quarter inch of level, maybe even closer to level, but frustrating because I had them just dead on. And that single post with the two little curls that stick off of it just allowed it to settle back. Usually I do a flange with two stems sticking down that are wavy and once you put them into place they don't settle and I pref I think I prefer those over these single stems unless you want to sit out here and really keep an eye on them because just they're a bit top heavy especially these six by sixes so 
a little frustrating i'll just have to make sure i'm careful with setting the posts and maybe even shim them slightly or maybe i'll cut the bottom of the post to match the slight angle so <clears throat> anyway coming along getting close <laughs> 